Hey guys, Trent here coming at you with another video. So I got another awesome Masters of the Universe Origins video. This one's a pretty cool one. We got a nice little deluxe package here. We've got Mechanic and the Ground Ripper. So welcome into my channel. If you like what you see, please like, comment, and subscribe for more great toy videos and 80s, 90s nostalgic videos and things of that nature. Yeah, pretty cool. Ground Ripper and Mechanic, a nice little two-pack vehicle combination, kind of like what we saw with the uh, Prince Adam and the Sky Sled. So that's interesting. So let's get it um, on the table and uh, check it out and then get it on the shelf. All right, here we go. We got Mechanic and the Ground Ripper. And it's a nice package here. Got that Ground Ripper and... Uh, with now there's gonna be some additional accessories that we didn't see in the vintage equivalent. And we got Mechanic in there. Uh, both looking sharp, nice packaging. We got some cool artwork on the top of uh, Mechanic on the ground ripper and uh, Castle Grace gone on the Castle Grace on the background. The size don't really have much for artwork. They just say Mechanic on the ground ripper on the, on them. All right, then we're treated to some cool artwork on the background. We got Mechanic on the ground rip with the ground ripper there. We got the Snake Man over there, and uh, that's Tongue Lasher and King Hiss. And they're looking over at Eternia, so that's pretty neat. Mechanic races the high speed ground ripper to scout out evil enemies encroaching on the battlefield. And then we see some action feature demonstrations down there. Uh, you can swap out the neck to extend Mechadex neck, and we can replace the uh, Ground Ripper uh, with a different uh, mantle. And then it has real racing action, as in you can push it across the floor. <laughs> and we got a cross cell there of um, that's the uh, that's the wave, the most recent wave that was out, huh? Yep. And then yeah, the Ground Ripper. All right, really cool. This was spoiled uh, around Eternia at the Comic Con. Uh, last year so this one's nice glad to get it um, let's get this cool set out and see what it's all about all right here we go Mechanic and the ground ripper out of the package and we'll look at Mechanic. so Mechanic's pretty much a standard figure now because there's no existing action feature in this version so um, uh, it's a pretty much standard body um, yeah, it even says 2020 Mattel still because of the reason the same thing. And then this is just, of course, Stinkor's. We already had Stinkor, so this is just a repaint of Stinkor's armor. So we got that, but we got the new, new uh, Mechanic head sculpt. Looks really nice. Nice shiny metallic eyes. Pretty cool. So it is what it is. Uh, you know, <laughs> I've argued before that it's kind of weird that they're making these figures with no action features because like clearly Mechanic was designed they didn't design the uh, they didn't write up a figure who had a long neck they said what kind of gimmick can we do oh we can make a figure that his their neck extends out right and then after they figured that they could do that they probably wrote they figured out you know making the character of Mechanic so for him to be absent of the action feature makes it a little weird but uh, it is what it is. I'm, of course, glad we got the figure. Uh, and he looks really good. And even though we don't get the action feature, we got something to simulate the action feature at least. So I'll take it. But I like uh, the, the, the origins representation of him, the, the way he looks. He looks good. So, of course, we can articulate the head and stuff of Mechanic, which we couldn't do in the vintage figure. And so we'll check out the... Uh, neck extension feature real quick let's see how it works so we'll pop off the head and can't say i really know which way is front or back but huh, i don't know how exactly how you would tell and there we go we got the mecha neck extended extended head and then uh of course we got mecha neck's classic uh big yellow mace and now we've recreated vintage mechanic <laughs> got to get every one of these core figures in origins one way or another i'm happy to have him it's pretty cool 
So now we got the Road Ripper as well. So here we have it, the Road Ripper. I'm sorry, the Ground Ripper. I'm calling it the Road Ripper because originally this was called the Road Ripper. And for some reason now it's called the Ground Ripper. So I never actually heard a official explanation as to why that was. I'm assuming it has to do with some kind of licensing or something. So got nice decals affixed on this road ripper, uh, crown ripper. Dang it. Can't see it. Uh, but this one again is absent the action feature. <laughs> uh, the vintage one has a rip cord feature. There's a, as there's, I'll show you, there's a weighted ball, a weighted, uh, wheel that is right here. And it, you can really, you could really rip the, the, uh, the, uh, road ripper, uh, man, that really is messing me up. Road ripper, ground ripper can rip it across the floor. That's what I'm trying to say. So this is all pretty light because it doesn't have that weighted ball in it or weighted uh, wheel in it. But you know, for origins, it's perfect. And it looks really good. And we got the old school seatbelt feature. There we go, he's strapped in so you can roll him across the floor with great ferocity. <laughs> Let's go, Mechanic. So now we've got a new, here's our Origins modern uh, little update. We got a additional mantle to put on that I guess would represent for the, the evil warriors, I suppose, if you wanted to. It's pretty cool. So let's see how that switches out. All right, the old one just pops off. Pop on the new one. You got a new different look. So you can army build with the uh, Ground Rippers. All right, here's the vintage counterparts. Um, take a look at Mecha Neck. Um, so the old vintage ones had hard plastic armor, which this one, you have to worry less about it breaking these new like soft rubbery plastic. But you know, there's that old school mace and uh, nice uh, recreation that we did they had but they did not recreate that action feature so so you just simply twist his waist and he's got that extending neck action but i, I get it with the origins figures they created the extra articulation so there's not as much room in the chest cavity so i don't know if maybe they can fit a neck piece uh, that would be that big inside of the chest possibly but uh, it's kind of a bummer. So my Road Ripper, uh, the decals, I think placement are n is not quite correct. Uh, I will be looking for an upgraded uh, decaled Road Ripper because the Road Ripper is one of the more common vehicles you'll find out there. I did have the Road Ripper as a kid. This is one of the vehicles I had as a kid. I had this and I had the attack track. So I do remember playing with this and zipping it across the floor many a times as a kid. I didn't have a Mechanic though. I had a friend that lived nearby that had almost every, seemed like he had almost every Masters of the Universe figure though, so I played with Mechanic before, but uh, I didn't have a figure of him of my own at home, so, so it was like He-Man or Battle Armor He-Man or somebody riding on the Road Ripper back in the day. But here's the rip cord. it's got this weighted, weighted wheel on the bottom, and you could uh, really send this thing go. It seemed like this one probably doesn't spin as good as it used to, but uh, these seem like these things used to spin for a long time and could really travel and travel like a bullet on the ground, basically. So it was definitely the play, the play ability, the play feature on this one was really, really good. All right, let's throw a uh, mechanic in the ground ripper up here in front of Eternia for a while. That's a nice little pose he's got there. And I'll leave on the... Uh, the uh, alternate head, something a little different. Pretty cool. And then I've still yet to move any more of my origin stuff for now. It's fine. I've got a lot of more toys to unbox, mainly Masterverse now, uh, as we're waiting on more origins uh, to come in. Uh, some people I saw are starting to get their uh, um, I saw Mr. Home Arcade got his uh, 
uh, frogmonger in so I guess that's starting to ship so that's cool so that's a, something from origins to look forward to but I've got a lot of vintage stuff that I recently acquired uh, to upgrade uh, Eternia put, add some more to Eternia and uh, some interesting vintage uh, Motu and other lines and video games and stuff the uh, stay tuned I'm gonna have a video of that and a lot more videos too so hope you enjoyed please like comment and subscribe and we will see you in the next one.